Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Andrea and today I'm going to do one of my most requested videos which is all about my homemade laundry soap. Homemade laundry soap is super easy to make. Today I'm just going to go over a very basic dry mix. It's a good introduction to learning how to make laundry soap. I also have directions for liquid laundry soap. Those will be listed in the description below. You can get both of these recipes from that blog post. But without further ado, let's get into the laundry soap. For homemade laundry soap, you're going to need borax, you'll need washing soda, a bar of felsnaphtha, naphtha, it's <laughs> so hard to say, felsnaphtha, laundry bar and stain remover, a measuring cup, a jar with a lid, a cheese grater, and then last but not least, you'll need a face covering. I'm going to use a bandana as a face covering, but when you start grating the soap, it really, it creates a little bit of a dust and you don't want to be breathing that in. It's kind of nasty. I'm going to cover my face like some kind of laundry soap bandit. I'm going to start grating this cheese. I almost said cheese. I'm going to start grating the soap. You'll notice you might get some decent sized chunks. You're going to want to break those up with your finger a little bit. So they'll break down in the washing machine faster. If the chunks are still big, you might end up with chunks at the end of your wash. You'll be putting your clothes in the dryer and you'll see that you have chunks of soap in there and you don't want that. So make sure that you double check that your soap gets finely grated. We are done. Oh, thank God, it is so hot in this kitchen right now. The sun is coming through. Woo, it's warm. So I set that to the side. Good, take that off, man. Okay, so we're gonna start by putting a little of that into the jar. If you want, you can kind of make this decorative. You add two, two cups of washing soda. I wanna make sure I'm showing you the right one. Two cups of washing soda, so you can stack it kind of pretty. I'll show you, you can kind of see that. If you wanna make this as a gift, you can stack it kind of pretty like that. Okay, one more cup of borac or washing soda. This washing soda is like solid like a brick. I don't know if that helps, but oh it did. It did. It's coming out now. Alright. So the second cup of washing soda in here. And we'll put the rest of the felt snap of soap on top. You can use any kind of bar soap that you would, would like to use. So if you want lavender scented, or you know, a lot of people use ivory, that's also another popular alternative. You might need to use a bar and a half or two bars, especially for ivory, because those bars are much smaller than the bar soap I just used. All right, so then one cup of borax, we're gonna top it off. Oh! Something went horribly wrong. Okay, I'm gonna pack it down just a little bit. Top it off. Put the lid on. And you now have a beautiful laundry soap to give as a gift. Ooh, look at it sparkle. Sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. Anyway, you would wanna mix this up before you use it. But I just, I just like the way that looks on my shelf. It looks really pretty. And then when you're ready to use it, you could shake it up. So give yourself some head space so you can do, do that. That's not something you have to do. It's just something I like to do. If you have any questions about making homemade laundry soap, feel free to send me a DM on Instagram or drop me a comment below. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.